Good afternoon, everyone, or good evening if you are listening to us from Asia. Good morning if you are listening to us from America. Uh, thank you for joining our second day of uh, webinars of Filmed e Academy. Uh, so we have five days of webinars this week. This is the second one. Uh, additional to well, we ha we have webinars that are scheduled this week and next week as well. If you haven't registered for the ones to come, please do so by going on the, our Filmed website, filmed.com. Click on Pro Access, log in, and then join the webinar. So today we don't have any limits on the number of attendees. So uh, so uh, please uh, enjoy whatever we are uh, you're going to hear today. So today we will be having a webinar led by Dr. Fabien Josserand. Uh, he's an aesthetic physician practicing in the city of Lille in France. He will be presenting us today with a new approach to masculinize the male patient the, with the Bionitri Shape protocol. Uh, before we begin, uh, I just want you to know that today uh, Dr. Giusran will be presenting between 20 and 25 minutes and that after that he will be answering all the questions you may have that you can type directly on the chat to the right of your screen. So uh, thank you very much and uh, welcome Dr. Fabien Giusran. Fabien, you just need to uh, turn on your microphone, please. <laughs> Thanks. Is it okay? Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you perfectly. Okay, so thank you very much, Charles. And uh, hello, everybody. Hello, world. I'm very glad to be with you today. I really appreciate that you have time to connect together and thank you very much to Filmed to give us today the opportunity to share about this great protocol, Biometry Shape. So today is all about masculinization of a male patient and what is the main purpose of this Biometry Shape is shape, structure and enhance the skin quality. So when we talk about beautification and gender approach is really important even we, if we use the same product means if we use the art filler range to practice and to perform uh, the male treatment with the right product in the right place and the right quantity with a specific protocol. So okay this bionetry shape um, is perfect for female and male patient and we will approach the difference in this webinar. Okay, next. Okay, okay. so what is the difference and the specific approach in the male patient and the female patient? So you have on the left side a face of a woman. So we really see smooth curved shape. So we really see the cheekbones uh, with a great enhancement and a great apex. We see the chin more pointed and we saw the jaw uh, less angular that on the right with the male patient, we have really on the upper face uh, a squared uh, orbital uh, and the square, um, really strong face. On the mid face, really different. And on the lower face, really different with a square jaw and a strong chin. So in the bionetry shape for male uh, patient is really not about to rejuvenate the patient is not about to bring back from the 20 or 30 years old, but it's all about beautification. So what means beautification? Next. So specificity, just uh, one minute about the anatomic and the genetics of the male patient. So the skin is all about the hormone because of the testosterone, there is more glands, the skin is thicker and of course there is more blood vessels. What about the bones? And this is the really specific approach for male. We have a small fat compartment, we have a strong chin, we have a strong jawline and we have a structural definition really different. And when we think about to inject male patient, we have to think about verticality and we will develop 
the fixed uh, part of the face and the verticality. And of course, for the muscle, we have more muscles and it's all about volumetric approach. So I'm always thinking about the volume. So next. So to understand masculine facial shape, just to be a focus for the upper face, we have a white face, a skull. For the regard and to enhance the eyes, we have to think about the square orbit and the distance between pupil, we have a larger, a larger glabella. For the mid face, it's really different and it's really uh, challenging because we have all learned about how to enhance with the three classical body on the cheekbones, how to enhance the, the mid face and the, and the cheekbones. We have considered that the axis of the male patient is low and horizontal. And for the lower face, of course, we have to respect the thinner uh, cheek, we have a small file compartment, the muscular is more developed, especially for the masseter, for the mentalist, that is the fibrosis muscles, and to have in our mind that we have really to reshape the prominent mandibular bone. Okay, next. So what do men want? Because this is really a challenging because in aesthetic dermatology, what um, patients want, they want only satisfaction. So I'm always thinking about my three pillars when I want to, to practice and to perform a good uh, procedure. I need safety and security. So this is the purpose of how to learn together and of course the satisfaction of the patient. So I really uh, appreciate my dear friends, uh, Frédéric Bracini with his concept, less is more, and you see on the, on the right. But remember, it's really less and more on the mid face. So we have to limit the intervention on the mid face, but on the lower face, especially in the meta phase, we have to opposite this concept and we have really to uh, maximize uh, the intervention. So to treat a male patient is not about rejuvenate, is not about feminiz feminizing him, it's about a masculinization. Okay, next. So the protocol, bionutrition, what is about it? It's about to mix and to combine the NCTF 135HA plus one or two or three syringes of outfielder volume. Next. So the right product on the right place with the right quantity is always about that in the aesthetics uh, business. So the skin quality with my NCTF 135HA because I want to reboot the fibroblast, I want to give him a new stimulation and a new signal to say, hey, you have to wake up, you have to produce more uh, tropoelastin, you have to produce once again some uh, collagen from three to one. So this virus of 3CC is composed, you know him, is the best seller in the world, with free hyaluronic acid and 59 screen ingredients. So uh, it will target the complexion of the skin, so it's about to reduce the pores, it's about to increase the homogeneity of the skin uh, texture, but we will improve the firmness, hydration, moisturizing treatment, and erase the small and the fine lines. So this is really important to combine in one session, in one treatment, because male patients uh, are um, more sensitive and more, uh, more painful. So in one session, you combine the a biostimulation and a reshaping treatment. So next, the second product on this protocol is my outfiller volume, the volumizing fillers of the four fillers of the outfiller range. So this is the cross-linking hyaluronic acid with the maximum uh, concentration, 25 milligrams per millimeter uh, per um, milliliter plus one free hyaluronic acid and rhinocaine uh, 0.3%. Uh, so what is the bad three hour technology? Because when I open the blister of my fillers, I want to be safe and secure and confident in my product. So in Filmed, they decided to choose very, very long chain and long chain of HA. So my volume, my outfiller volume, it gives 
uh, the maximum uh, cohesivity, the maximum elasticity. My J prime is higher than all the range. And of course, cohesivity, what is the meaning of cohesivity? I really want to have the product that stay in the same place when I inject. I don't want to have migration. So this protocol, and don't remember, uh, don't forget, remember that the syringe is 1.2 ml, so plus 0.2. Uh, comparative to the to another uh, classical uh, syringe. So I really want to restore my facial volume and I want to target the oval shape on my male patient. So next. So the right product is always the same. We want to have and to explain the trial technology. We have three hyaluronic acid, very, very long chain, long chain, and a percentage of the free HA that it's, it's there to facilitate the extrusion. And when I push on my syringe on the piston, it's, it's easier. So three formulation, and it's about the complexion and the creation of the range of art filler. When, firstly, when I use and when I adjust the ratio and I adjust the cursor of my percentage of very long chain and long chain of HA, I adapt the modiability of the gel. So that means that the gel could be sculpted. Uh, second point, when the cross-linking rate is, is uh, adapted, means less or more BDDA, some reticulated agent, I change the volumizing potential, so I change the G-prime, I change the elasticity, the, uh, the capacity to the gel to resist from the epidermis to the dermis to hypodermis to muscle to smart steel, the bones to adapt and to resist to all the deformation during all the day and during all the long lasting uh, life of my product that is almost um, near to two years, so it's huge and free HA concentration, so less or more free HA, so this gives me the fluidity of the gel, this is the smoothing potential. And when I think about that, I'm thinking more about the fine lines of the range. Okay, next. So passion needs, because we have always to adapt the technique, the protocols, and, um, and um, the quantity of the product with the needs of the patient. So this bionutri shape is really made uh, for us to adapt from the masculinization to the feminization and from for each uh, part of the life of the patient. And this is really why I love to work with film and laboratory because it's about the positive projecting. We don't want to change the face. We don't want to create a new face. We just want to restore, to enhance, and to do a beautification of the face. And for each uh, day, for each year, for each uh, part of the life of the patient, we have from the millennials, we need some support stimulation. After, for the next generation, we will reshape. And after, older and older, as the life is going on, we need to restore the bone resorption. And with the bionutri shape, we can do that. Okay, next. So, patient needs uh, always uh, thinking about my position as an aesthetic physician is not about to erase the surgical procedure in the uh, process in the way of life of the patient is just an alternative or a combination just few years before to go to the surgery. So this is really an integration. This is really an holistic approach. I just want to give some pillars, some support to prevent uh, some uh, um, uh, key points, some retaining ligaments, just in order maybe to prevent but not to erase the surgical procedure. So we really have to consider in the globality. Okay, next. So, to be uh, focused on the technique, we have four uh, areas targeted. First, we have the temples. Then we go on the cheekbones. And you see why is about the bionutri shape. The letter S is about to have a draw, to have a draw line and a pattern as a S later from the temples till the cheekbones, then we go to point the chin and then we enhance 
the jawline and go to the mandibular angle. So this is really the four main facial zone that needs structure, they need support, they need shape, and we will use it after with the NCTF. So this is my four points for the ad filler volume, the volumizing fillers. So remember, we have to inject deep contact to the bones or deep uh, hypodermis. Next. So, uh, tips and tricks uh, to inject the cheekbones because this is really the main area challenging for the male patient. Uh, just we have to draw uh, three lines. First line from the external uh, contus to the nasal ala area. We have the first line. Then the second line from the corner of the mouth parallel, uh, parallel to the first line. And then the third line from the tragus to the supra alar crease. So remember this third line, you know, uh, when you inject upper, you have to go contact to the bones. And when you are under this third line, you can inject more superficial because you have lack of support. You have only the, um, you have only the, the fat compartment, but you don't have the support on the cheek. So this is just a tip. And for the cheekbones injection zone, you are between the first and the second line. And you really see where I want to go uh, to find my molar eminence. Next. Now we will see after the difference uh, between the cheekbones from the B to C points, but specific and common points. Let's begin from the A point. The A point is a temple area. So I will inject 0.1 till 0.4, depending. You can target this area uh, in the one-shot technique with the needle, but I prefer to practice with a cannula. So I will be between the two fascia, the superficial one and the, and the lower one, and superficial and the deeper uh, temporalis fascia, and you will inject in the right place for the male patient. Remember, this point, this first point could be facultative could be an alternative point. Sometimes they don't need because sometimes we can respect the concavity of the temple of the male patient. Then you go to the point B and to the point C. So this is really the targeting area. When we want to uh, inject uh, the point C, this is the apex of the of the of the patient of the female patient. So if you want uh, glamorous cheekbones, if you want like uh, in a Russian style, you can inject more in the C point from the male, from the female patient. And look at the C on the right place uh, for the male patient is more like uh, from the um, medial pupillar line. And you have to inject contact to the bones. Be careful, there is a, uh, a dangerous area, the emergence of the alpha orbital a nerve, so you have to be just one and two millimeters behind, so uh, exterior part of the medial pupillar lines. This is for the point C for the male patient. Then you go to the chin, so this is the uh, third area to target. In the female patient, in the D point, you have just one point central, you go contact to the bones and you will inject 0.1, 0 0.2, sometimes maybe more, depending on the retrognathism of the patient. And then for the male patient, uh, you can see two points, uh, each part of the fibers of the mentalis. Then you go to challenging and to target the E point. This is the mandibular angle points. In the female patient, you can go really uh, on the angle of one millimeter behind this angle, 0.1, 2.2 or 0.3 uh, art filler volume. And on the male patient, you are really to inject in a massive way, in a three point in the muscle, in the masseter muscle, in two layers, but we will see in the live demo. So uh, next. So injection technique, you see you can practice with the needle and you can practice with the cannula, 25 gauge cannula. Uh, with the film at cannula, this is 55 millimeters. So, of course, the tip of my cannula is blunt to avoid a veins and especially arteria uh, complication and traumatism. So, this is a safer, this is painless, and uh, it gives me more 
confidence in my practice with this kind of cannula. So 25 is the perfect goal. Next. So we, we have seen uh, the four area and the five till six point with my alveolar volume. And in the same time, with uh, the point uh, uh, D, you can inject NCTF 135HA one to two vials of NCTF 135HA with the same entry point than the entry point of the angle of the masseter. With my 25 gauge cannula, and I will inject spreading uh, one vials of NCTF. So this is really important that in my uh, unique uh, session, I give the opportunity to enhance and to reboost my fibroblast too. So next. So uh, there is a lot of benefits in this practice because the volumes are restored, so I correct. Uh, we give an harmonious shape of the face and we respect the characteristic of the male patient and we improve in the same time the skin texture with my NCTF and my biorevitalization. So I give hydration, uh, I erase some fine lines and redissification. So it's really about the three S, the bionutri shape, structure and skin quality. Next. So you see on this patient, we have inject a two art filler volume per side and one NCTF, one vial each, each side of the face. So you really see the V-shape restoration of this patient. We see we have erased some, uh, some shadows. We give uh, a, a, a greater face, but in a natural way, not in a surgical way. Okay, next. And this patient, this is uh, a 60 year a 60 years old patient older for the sagging approach you see the sa the shadow of the of the jawline is really improving with two art filler and one vials of nctf each side of the face next for the male patient especially we will see with damien on the video with two uh, volume each side and one nctf each side so let's see in the video please so we will uh, draw first the pattern. I hope it's really okay for you. Don't um, don't uh, don't uh, uh, avoid the opportunity to ask some question. Huh? I will ask. I will answer after. So the temples, the cheekbones, the mandibular angle, and the chin. Look, this is the pattern of my injection of my NCTF. First entry point. Uh, between the superior part and the inferior part of the zygomatic arc and between the two fascia and I inject with my 25 gauge cannula the outfilled volume. I inject a 0.2 and I modulate the gel immediately. So you see with the volume. We uh, going on and on with the needle, the 27 gauge needle contact to the bones. Do the respiratory aspiration. Do the aspiration test before to inject. Contact to the bone. Lift the medial fat pad. Arm contact to the bones. Arm deep. This is a volumizing filler. This is the volume filler. I inject each point 0 0.1 till 0 0.25 or maximum 3. You had seen the first point. It was near to the medial pubular line. Now I go to the chin, contact the bone, the entire uh, 14 millimeters length of your needle, 27 gauge needle. Uh, some patient, you don't go contact to the bones because the, the, the chin and the mentalis is really, is really uh, thick. So you inject in the fibers of the mentalis. Then the maximum um, injection is the secret point for the male patient, the masseter. So you can inject into the muscle. So you go uh, in the entire length of your needle and you inject in the three uh, points. You really uh, see uh, the structure of the triangle of the muscle uh, masseter and you inject each point, point 0.2 till point 0.4, if you really want to increase the masculinity of your patient, if there is a lack of definition of the jawline, and you modulate and you do the massage immediately after your three injections. Then, in the same session, I do my entry point, uh, 25, and I use my cannula, this time 25 gauge, 
and I will inject in a superficial layer. So I'm always hypodermis with my cannula, but now I'm not in the muscle, I'm in the hypodermis, and I will inject some outfill of volume. I do the lateral, the inferior border of the mandibular arch, and I will be spread some products to enhance and to increase the volume of the masseter muscle. Uh, you can inject 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, depending on the volume that you want to give and to reshape. Don't hesitate to see. What you see is what you get because there is not an hydrophilic product. And then in the same entry point, you will charge uh, 3 cc of your virus of NCTF 135 HA and you will spread with this unique entry point on my NCTF. Immediately with the B3 recovery, uh, from skin perfusion, I modulated the product immediately. But of course, I use this trial technology because it's really uh, uh, easy to shape. But don't forget that you have really uh, 30 seconds to to modulate the gel. So okay. So okay. And then the the last one video just to summarize uh, how to practice and how to, the key message, the key on message, just to practice immediately after, after, the, after the, the webinar with the outfill of volume is about to structure, to shape and to enhance the skin quality. This, so this is a unique protocol. Uh, I want to reshape the second phase. Look at the meta phase. The meta phase, it was the, the white one. So you have really, this part, this is the fixed phase. So, so this is really the, the, the targeting and the challenging phase of my male patient. I really want to fix it. It is the same part that the surgeon use uh, when they do the surgical uh, lifting. So where to inject? Remember the, the three drawing lines really to um, have my landmarks to inject correctly the cheekbones of the male patient. So we have the front four plane, we have the separation between to inject deep and to inject superficial. I have my cheekbone zone injection, and if I want to inject just in a common way, I go on the line from the external uh, orbital rim, and the difference between the male and the female patient, male, this is more medial, and female is more lateral, okay, on the apex. So, of course, this is an approach for the four area. So, the temples, it will challenge in the cheekbones too, then uh, the mandibular angle and the chin. So, this is really important because, okay, uh, we give us some landmarks, but don't forget that in this uh, artistic approach, we have to challenge you with the own phase of each patient. So the quantity is just an approximation, okay? You can inject sometimes 0 0.1, 0 0.2 more, depending of the tagging and depending of the loss fat tissue. So in the male patient, you remember this challenging area. Of course, this is the same for my red point and my blue point is more in the medial pupilla line. Then I really point to the chin, I really want to enhance the, each part of the fibers of my mandalis, so I can inject really a huge quantity, and especially from a masseter, I have to inject a good quantity. So you see, see the texture too, huh? of course is a modalizes phase, but I really want to explain to my patient what I'm targeting when I use Bionutri Shape. And of course, we will use the skin quality, and with uh, one or two vials of uh, NCTF 135 HA, uh, we really want to correct and to prevent, you know, the lack of firmness, the lack of when you see that the fat is uh, going really different. Okay. So to summarize, biometric shape approach is always to structure, so to give a, a good face to reshape and to enhance the quality. I really love that, that, that image. Okay.
Okay, thank you. So I hope you have some question and I hope uh, it was clear for you and I really want you to use this protocol and to do this protocol on your own practice. It's really important. It's really a tell all for this. So maybe we will have some question now because we have a little time, I hope. Yes, thank you very much, Dr. Fabien Josserand. It was really perfect. Uh, so now I would like to invite everyone to put your questions, should you have some in the chat. Uh, Fabien, I have a first question from uh, Leandro Herbeta. He is asking, does this protocol has a special after treatment steps? Or just like any other treatment? No, no, no. This is the, this is the uh, uh, a classical uh, habits uh, after when you inject hyaluronic acid and biorevitalizations, so or avoid a sauna, avoid uh, the swimming pool, avoid uh, the the high or the lower temperature, and uh, avoid to avoiding the bruising. You can use it your own protocol with Anika with the gel that you are uh, confident in too. So no, this is really. Uh, and I repeat, with the using of the cannula, there is really less traumatic, and this is really a minimal invasive treatment. This is like when I present it to my patient, I say it's kind of a medical lifting. So it's kind of the mini liquid full phase, as the US uh, colleagues name it. So this is really uh, this is really smooth, and the recovery time is near to one or two days. Okay, thank you, Fabien. Now we have another question from uh, Dr. Oscar Suarez. He is asking, how many syringes would you use as a maximum on a male patient? Mm, maximum. I think over than four syringes of uh, volumizing fillers is really not recommended to my own practice. It means two syringes, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1 1.2, four syringes is good. But sometimes if you are more confident at the beginning, maybe use one or two volumizing uh, syringes. But four syringes for me is the maximum in one session. And then why not to uh, integrate your patient in a holistic approach and say, okay, in two or three months, come on, or in one month, and maybe in this one month for the not for the touch up but just to going on and on with the biorevitalization so say okay in next few weeks we will do one session of biorevitalization and after two three months maybe i will use another syringes of uh, outfit of volume and this is really the dedication of the filmed approach this is all my protocol can be combined because this male patient uh, the mine in the live demo demia it was a male patient, never injected. So it was the first time with four syringes of alpha volume. But maybe in one year or two years, we will just do a bionutri lip in the lower vectors. Or maybe in 18 months, we will do a tree session of bionutri glow. So we will want to combine and to integrate my patient in a long term uh, approach and service for his skin. Thank you. Now we have another question. Uh, Inas is, is asking, do you think that the injection medially in male is not dangerous or is it? Uh, so, of course, this we have to explain all the dangerous area. You remember the three uh, dangerous um, area in this protocol. It was there for my temples. So for my temples, I was the, the supra uh, arteria temporal. But with my cannula, it's okay. And in this point, I will tell you, you can really touch your bones and you can feel on your patient the emergence of the infraorbital nerves. And you have to inject two or three millimeters laterally because it's really uh, described in the anatomic um, dissection that we have this emergence more medially. So if you inject, and remember, there is a, a capuchon, as you see in English, there is a, some bones. So uh, this uh, nerve is really protected. 
so you have really inject from the lower part to the upper part, to the lateral, to the medial, to targeting the emergence of the nerve. So it's okay. And for the, the veins, for the veins, it's okay if there is some bruising. And for the arterial, there is to the emergence of the pedoncule. So you have really to, to be uh, gentle, but the gentle you are, the more gentle, the more delicate, the, the more, um, I want to say, the slower you are, the gentle you are, less bruising, less hematoma you will do. Do the aspiration, okay. With the aspiration test, you can have some negative uh, uh, answer. So it means that if I don't see some blood, uh, some blood aspiration, don't give me 100% uh, safety and security area, but is um, a tips in plus. Okay, thank you. Now we have another question. Can you confirm again on the three points uh, that the three points in male and two in female for mid face or cheeks. Can you confirm again on the three points in male and two female? No, 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 no. It's, this, it's the same. Uh, there is in this protocol, we give two points of the cheek points. But if you are sometimes in the female patient, you can you can have a third point in the maximum apex if you want to give a glamorous aspect. So just remember to be uh, as uh, simple as uh, as uh, effective. Uh, two points. The first, the major one, is to restore the medial fat pad in the deeper uh, part. And the second one is just to give the elevation of the apex. So the second one here, if you are a female patient, you can inject maximize. If you are a male patient, avoid it. In the medial part, you are just to restore the, the sagging or the lost uh, resorption of the fat pad tissue in the lower or in the super part. Okay, so there is this, the same number of points, but depending on the position. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to go to the last two questions. So we have Demetris. He is using Universal for Bionutri Lift, uh, and he's asking, when you use the volume, do you inject in a deeper plane when you inject in the fan phase? Yeah, you saw it. Perfect. Excellent question. Uh, you're right. You have saw it when I inject in the masseter uh, part. My second plan treatment is to inject here and to use my cannula with the filler for you in the way of the lower vectors of the bionutri lift with the volume. So, of course, if it's a female patient, depending on the thickness of the skin, if, if she is a, if she's a, a heavier face, you can inject. And in the male patient, you can use the volume, but of course, yeah, you're right, I'm always deep, but to be simple, in, uh, in your pattern of your injection, just remember that sometimes you are superficial, sometimes you are deep, and sometimes you are contact to the bones. In this uh, way of the inferior vector, I'm deep, I'm not contact to the bones, but of course, I don't want to see the tip of my cannula. I don't want to see the whitening effect when I do that, when I do um, some, uh, how to say, some dissection of the fibrosis tissue with my cannula, when I use some NCTF uh, only, or the fine lines. So that's right, I'm deeper. Okay, great. And this is going to be the last question. Uh, why do you prefer to use the cannula for NCTF rather than do it like a mesotherapy in the dermis? Uh, this is the great question. This is the this is really excellent. And as my dear friend Valérie Philippon uh, explained us with the biorevitalization, of course, for um, classical uh, uh, mesotherapist doctor, you have to do in the third lines and you have to be really superficial. But don't uh, don't forget. Remember that in this protocol, we use the maximization of the effect between a fillers who increase uh, the synthesis of collagen and elastase, and there is a publication, so from, to my mind, is the first one that we see a publication that it increased plus 16% of the dermis with the art filler range, and we maximize this effect between this kind of, um, of, um, of, uh, of travé, of, of, of lines with my NCTF to boost uh, the action and to boost the extracellular matrix and to give us the ingredients and to give us the energy to do the synthesis with 
the fibroblast. And third point, uh, to not to oppose it, but to have the perfect understanding of the environment. Even if I'm deep, different from the mesotherapy classic, with imbibition, I will targeting the, the papillar dermis and the ingredients will capped by the fibroblast from the from the deep fibroblast to tip uh, the medium dermis. So it's okay to be to be deep in this uh, in this treatment in this protocol. Thank you so much, Fabien. It was a great presentation, and uh, thank you so much for taking the time to answer to some questions. I'm so sorry, everyone. We are running out of time, so uh, I cannot do any more questions. But uh, we have them, and uh, we will try to to answer to them if we can. Um, you will have the opportunity to see Fabien again <coughs> on next week. Uh, I would like to remind everyone that in 20 minutes we will have a next session with uh, Dr. Sergio Fernandez in Spanish. So uh, we count on you, and uh, thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Fabien. If you have want to have last few words. Okay, so now I really want to today thank you to FinMed and please, uh, all word, uh, stay confident. Uh, it it will be a pleasure to to share together in a real way the next time. But this new way is a new challenging uh, approach. So uh, stay strong. Thank you so much, everyone. The video has been recorded and uh, you will be able to re-see it if you need to have some more details. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.